The United Nations have taken measures to introduce several projects, including AI technology to prevent post-harvest losses in the local fishing industry. It is the national television which is shouldering the responsibility of enlightening the general public regarding the project through coordination of several institutions in the state and private sectors. The latest study says 44% of the catch of fish in the Sri Lankan fishing industry are subject to deterioration in standards. Most of the post-harvest losses amounting to 41% of damages has shown in fish production using multi-day fishing trawlers. Sri Lankan government along with the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization and the government of Norway and had unleashed the project in the year 2021. The project has introduced many constructive programs to reduce the post-harvest losses in the fishing industry. Accordingly, utilization of AI technology to inspect the status of fish through the introduction of mobile telephone, introduction of the new cooling system to prevent the melting of ice used in multi-day trawlers to preserve the freshness of fish. In addition, many operative op measures, including increase in fuel efficiency and modernization of fishing craft, have also been presented. The world, you know, food loss, one third of food is wasted, over almost one billion. And when it comes to fisheries products, or you call it blue products, again, 30 to 35 percent loss is really, really a big problem in the whole world. And you know, when it comes to Sri Lanka, it's even more. I'm not going to tell you all this. In, you know, Dr. Pushpa will share all this, you know, it is more than 50%. If you at least, if you can save part of that loss, that itself is a gain for us. It's a big contribution to the GDP. It can improve. Now, where the problems are, we found. Where the solutions needed, we still found. You would, you know, as MDS, you would see some of these solutions tabled in a, you know, few hours' time. But still, even though we have solutions, when it comes to implementation, it's not that easy. We still need support. Government of Sri Lanka still needs support for certain implementation you know, activities of these solutions, but many others have already been started. In Sri Lanka, for the component five, we established a very active uh, FLW platform, uh, including 30 members of the working group. It covers all policymakers, fishing community, private sector, processing exporters, and government institutes uh, who are related working with the fisheries value chain, and also 19 institutes. In addition to that, the marketing sector also, as well as the local. Uh, National Fish Market at Paliagood also included in the working group. This workshop brings together representatives from three countries to share valuable experiences in assessing fish loss and exploring solutions. The Minister of Fisheries is proud to be a partner of this critical initiative, Post Harvest Fish Lost, is a major challenge Sri Lanka's fisheries industry. Impacting both economic property and national food security, the consequences of this problem are far-reaching. It weakens the economic livelihood of fisheries, particularly some scale operators. Reduce export potential and lower market value of fish due to poor quality have a negative impact on the national economy. Additionally, it undermines food security by limiting the availability of a vital source of protein for Sri Lankans. While quality deterioration is a primary issue, solutions are diverse and require holistic approach. Okay, so this project is the culmination of the activities funded by the Norwegian Agency for Development Cooperation or NORAD and FAO is implementing this uh, component five uh, focused on the reduction of food loss and waste. So under this project, FAO managed to provide capacity building of the relevant stakeholders in doing the capacity building on food loss and waste assessment as well as development a multidimensional solutions a strategy that can be used or guide the country in reducing losses, particularly in the multi-day boat fishery sector.